In this video, I'll demonstrate how to find the x and y components of any vector. To demonstrate, I have chosen the following vector. One that has a magnitude of 374 and an angle of 137. To help you understand how to do this, I'll start off by drawing an x and y graph. And this will represent 0 degrees, 90 degrees, 180, and 270. And our vector lies within the second quadrant. So I will draw a line that represents the vector. One hundred thirty seven degrees and a magnitude of three seventy four. Now to find the x and y vectors, you need to create a table that will represent the the x components and this will represent the y components. In order to find the x component, which will be right here, you will need to find the reference angle. To find this reference angle, we will subtract 180 minus the angle that we've been told of 137. This will equal to 43 degrees. Now, since we are looking for this highlighted region right here, this lies adjacent to the angle, adjacent. In addition, we've been given the hypotenuse. So what relates adjacent hypotenuse? Which trigonometric function could it be? It will be cosine. Cosine represents adjacent and hypotenuse. Now if we were to find this component, the y component, we would have to use sine because we're looking for the opposite of the reference. And given that we have the hypotenuse, only sine would work. Now, we will plug in the values that we know. Theta represents our angle. So cosine 43 is equal to adjacent, which is what we're looking for, divided by 374. In order for you to effectively find these components, you also need to know the cast rule. C A S T. And the cast rule says that all trigonometric ratios in the first quadrant will give you a positive ratio. Only sine will give you a positive ratio in this quadrant. Only cosine will give you a positive ratio in this quadrant. And only tangent will give you a positive ratio here. So anything else will give you a negative. Now, since our vector lies within the second quadrant, and since we're using cosine, our answer will be negative. So the number that your calculator gives you will give you a positive number, but you have to revert it to one that's negative. So we'll just cross multiply to isolate for this, 374 times cosine 43, and we get 273.5. And that represents your adjacent side. And remember, we are using cosine here, so it's negative. Now, we will find our y component. And for that, we're going to be using sine. I'm just plugging in the values that we've already established. The opposite is what we're looking for. The hypotenuse is what we have. And the opposite is equal to 374 times sine of 43. And we get 255. Now, since, let's be exact here, 255.06. Now, since we use sine within this quadrant, this remains positive. You keep it the way it is. There you have it. That is how you find the x and y components of any vector. Just out of curiosity, if the vector was in this quadrant, then 
you would have to subtract the angle from 180 and use that as your reference. If you have any questions related to this or any questions related to math, science, or any topic, use our website at biology-forums.com. We are a free homework service and we will gladly answer your questions. See you soon.